bet. All right, y'all. So again, again, welcome back, y'all. This is another week, another episode. Uh, make it make sense. So if you're seeing this live, do me a favor in the comment section in the description below. Make sure you put the city, state, zip code, region, or country you're, you're seeing this in or hearing this in. And if you're uh, hearing or seeing this on a replay, just do me a favor and put hashtag replay. All right. So let's get it started. Let's get it popping for real. So, you know, with Make It Make Sense, this is your guide to navigating the world of sports, finances, and of course, you already know personal development, and that's what we're going to really talk about today when we talk about mindset, okay? I'm your host, Travi Trav, Mr. Trends, TJ, right? Uh, number four, QB1, um, you know, I, I go by many names, uh, husband, uh, dad, you know, uh, I, I have uh, many roles. And today we're diving deep into a topic that can really rev revolutionize. This is crazy. Part, revolutionize your athletic journey. See, the mindfulness in sports and achieving that flow state is going to be phenomenal, right? Mindset, mental well-being, okay? In the fast-paced world of sports, where milliseconds can make all the difference, Achieving a flow state is like tapping into the superpower of peak performance, right? And, um, you know, when I was kind of writing this and putting this together of what I wanted to talk about, when I was talking about flow state, I was thinking, um, for example, almost like Aang, the last airbender, right? Him having to understand the um, avatar state, right? And we're talking about flow state. He had to understand his state of being where he had to become one literally with the universe so he could unleash his superpower of peak performance, right? But easier said than done. So let's talk about how you get there because that's what we're going to explore here today. So first, let's talk about flow state and why it's so crucial for athletes. A flow state is just when you're in that zone, right? If you've ever been an athlete and you just feel like that one, you've probably had that one game. It might have been multiple games where you're just locked in. Like, you don't even know what's going on. Like, almost like, man, I can't miss. Like, I could throw anything up and it's going to go in, right? Anything I do right now is going to be successful, right? So, you have to be fully immersed in your performance. Time seems to slow down. Your movements become effortless and your focus is laser freaking sharp. It's that sweet spot where athletes perform at their very best. So the um, mindfulness of when you're able to, again, tap into that flow state almost effortlessly, right, is when you're going to be able to always, um, you know, or consistently go into that flow state and release that peak performance so so today we're not just going to talk about the importance of achieving a flow state we're going to give you some key tips on how to get there right so let's be practical of course here are three actionable steps for athletes and parents to embrace mindfulness and enhance athletic performance right away so these are things you can start doing as soon as you uh finish this episode and they're very simple, right? You don't really think how important they are, but they're very important. Uh, number one, practice breath awareness, right? You want to start each training session with a few minutes of focused breathing. Deep, intentional breaths can calm your mind and anchor your attention to the present moment. I think that's important, right? Finding that flow state, finding that wusa, okay? Use breath awareness during high-pressure situations, like a crucial play or free throw, right? I'm pretty sure if you had the free throw line, you right, trying to get your, you know, thoughts together, right? Clear the mind, right? Because it's probably loud in the arena, but you have to clear your mind, you know, to sink this shot that's going to either tie or win a game, right? Um, stay cool so you can make the right decision. Second, visualized, visualization and mental rehearsal. Uh, I learned at a young age uh, playing sports, visualize and attack, right? That's kind of what I like here. Incorporate mental rehearsal into your training routine. Close your eyes vividly. Visualize yourself performing at your absolute, absolute best. So again, seeing is believing, right? Mm -mm. Sometimes believing is seeing. 
And that's the key thing when we think about visualize and attack, right? You see it before it happens. The reason why you've probably heard me say or heard people around me say, I'm so happy and grateful now I am, right? So I'm happy and grateful that I am before I am, right? I saw the, the end in the beginning, okay? Just like the farmer who sows the seed, he, he sees the harvest, right? That's why he's sowing the seed, okay? Recognize when your mind starts to wonder, right? That's key. Right. So close your eyes, create that mental highlight reel of your past accomplishments, reflect on your success, boost confidence and can help you access that flow state even more often if you're doing these things. OK, number three, embrace mindful training techniques. Mindful training means staying fully present in your practice. Pay attention to each movement, each pass, each shot. Right. When your mind is fully engaged, your performance improves. Right. We were talking about recognizing when your mind wanders. Right. You got to recognize when that happens. Gently bring your focus back to that present moment. This helps you maintain that flow state for longer periods. Something I would say also is um, even negative thoughts. You know, sometimes, you know, human negative thoughts happen. So what I try to say is multiple or three times the positive thoughts. So if I say, man, I don't, I don't care what it is. If I say something negative, like, man, that's why they car beat up. Man, I'm going to say, man, I'm thankful that I have a car drive in. I hope they one day can get a better car, you know, or something like that to offset that negative thought. Right. That's that's a, a, a technique I'm just sharing that I, I, I use as well. So. Utilize these three techniques, start doing this immediately. Remember, practice breath awareness, visualize the mental rehearsal, embrace mindful training techniques. All right. Achieving a flow state isn't reserved for just elite athletes. It's accessible to all of us. Whether you're a student athlete or a parent supporting your aspiring sports star, these mindfulness techniques can enhance your athletic performance and help you reach that peak state more consistently. In conclusion, understanding and embracing mindfulness in sports can be a game changer. It's not just about physical training. It's about training your mind to reach the heights of your potential. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. I appreciate all the comments, likes, the shares, right? Make sure you show support to the podcast. Again, make it make sense. So I appreciate y'all joining this episode. And if you found these insights valuable, please subscribe and share this episode with fellow athletes and parents who are ready to take their game to the next level. So in our next episode, we explore the world of financial literacy for student athletes until then, remember mindfulness in sports isn't just about achieving a flow state. It's about creating a pathway to your best self, both on and off the field. So stay mindful, stay focused, and keep making every cent count. I'll see y'all on the other side.